welcome to Morfolio Trace. In this video, we'll learn how to import a multi-page PDF drawing set, set the scale of your drawing, mark up the PDF drawing set, manage your pages, and how to export your drawing set as a PDF. Let's get started. You can see at the top is a place where you can add new projects. And what we're going to focus on today is this multi-page project button. So if you tap on that, you're brought to your Apple files area where you can then uh, navigate through anywhere on your cloud storages or on your device storages. And you can see here, I have this folder trace. So I'm navigating to open a PDF drawing set. And uh, a note about this, I really like to use Apple Files for my storage. It's the most uh, secure, it's the most efficient, it's also the most bug-free. All of the other apps that you see here, um, Dropbox, OneDrive, all those are great. Um, but as far as their integration with Morfolio Trace, they're not always stable. And sometimes those uh, apps have communication issues with Apple Files which is the, the software that is kind of uh, coming up here. This is outside of Morfolio Trace. It's not, in, not included um, in the support that we can offer. And uh, so we like to use either files on your device or um, in the iCloud drive, which are the most stable. So anyways, we navigate to our PDF, tap on it, and you can see that it's now creating a new multi-page project. And the way that we know that it's a multi-page project is if we look at our page manager here, you can see that all of the pages here are located in the PDF manager. So the first thing that we want to do when we open up a new PDF to start marking it up is we want to set our scale because this obviously is super important for um, drawing and for navigating through the, the drawing. So we tap the button up there. We move our crosshairs to a known dimension. So here we see that we have this dimension of 800 millimeters. So we'll change from imperial to metric at the top. We'll put in our millimeters here and we'll tap 800, hit our green check. And now you can see our scale is registered and ready to go. Now when we use our ruler, you can see that our ruler is scaled properly, giving us the correct dimension. And now we are ready to mark up our drawing. So let's just uh, take a look at this bathroom layout. Um, let's say we want to try a new arrangement and we want to add some changes to how this layout might work. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to make it yellow this time just to help uh, make this change stand out when I'm, when I'm marking this up. And the first tool that I'm going to use to help me with this new layout is stencils. And you can see here, this is a, a really helpful little stencil here that it gives you a little cloud bubble like you would for revisions. And what I'm going to do is navigate to this door uh, stencil here. I'm going to double tap the stencil to rotate it around. I'm going to find that it's about the right size that I want. And instead of being in the middle, I'm going to try using the moving the door over to the right. Use my stencil to quickly add in a door. And then I'm going to turn on my super ruler, which if I look in my settings, I see that it's set to 15 degrees, which is great. Um, means I'll also get my 90 degree lines there. So now I can really quickly make sure I have assist on. All right, cool. So now I can really quickly add in my lines, Oop, getting 15 degrees there. And if that's too much degree control, maybe we want to bump it up to 90 because I know that I'm not needing all of those other angles. So now I'm drawing and now you can see that I have this angle here though that I can't quite draw. So what I do is I put my brush down and if I tap the screen, now suddenly I'm in off rails mode or free edge mode and I can draw that angle perfectly uh, to its desired location. 
So let's go back to our bathroom layout. Let's say we want to rearrange the furniture on the inside once we've moved our door over there. So we can go back to stencils, click on our gear, and we can scroll down and see that there are all these amazing bathroom stencils that are ready for us to check out. So we have this beautiful tub here by Porcelanosa. So I'm gonna scale that, move this over here, go to my bigger pen brush here and just fill that right in. Then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna add a toilet. Another Porcelanosa toilet right here. Check out the scale and then I'm gonna drop that in. And then let's say I wanna finish up by adding a little counter space on the right. Go back to my super ruler, draw my straight lines, tap to get the orthogonal back. And you can see that we have quickly now been able to uh, offer a new layout on this drawing. And uh, the last thing that we wanna do is add in a bit of text here to make a note that this is the new layout. Give the space there. And when we're done, hit the little done button that text gets inserted, can drop it over on top, hit the check, and now we have this, uh, this updated area on our PDF set that we can then share to our team. The next step obviously is to look at our PDF manager and how we can uh, manage those pages and eventually export. You can see here is our PDF manager. We can rearrange the pages if we want by tapping and holding, popping them up, and then changing their order. You can also do a lot of things by tapping the edit button at the top. So here you can see that we have uh, these buttons that have appeared on each of our pages. If we select one, we can duplicate that page. So if we're doing multiple layouts, testing out uh, multiple options, you can just simply add that and then create a new drawing on that second new page and add that into your PDF right there. If we don't want that, ex that extra page, uh, we can always tap on it there and then hit delete to remove the page. You can also add a page this way too. Um, and here you can see that we have now a new blank page. And if we go there, we maybe want to add some notes just to help outline that uh, there's a new bathroom layout on this page two maybe. And then we can go back to our PDF manager again. And you can see that right here is an export button and this will export your entire PDF. So all the pages that are you're seeing here will be exported together in that PDF. You can save it as a high res uh, to any cloud storage. You can share it to another device if you wanna airdrop it or send it out another way. Or you can simply save each of these pages as images to your photos or um, to any other cloud storage. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other how-to videos.